Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, Merry Christmas. In this episode, I want to show you how you can add snow with amazing brushes in Photoshop. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramli. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France. Right now, I'm in Florida, and I want to tell you Merry Christmas. I have a great Christmas present for you. You can download below some amazing snow brushes in Photoshop. Let me show you how to use them. Guys, I am so excited to give you this pack of brushes for free. Don't forget to click the link below the video to download it. Uh, we put a lot of work into these brushes. So, to install the brushes, it's so easy. Uh, once you download the brushes, you're going to get just one file, one simple file called Snow Brushes ABR. You double click on it and that's it. And it's already installed on Photoshop, um, you know, hopefully using Photoshop CC. And the way this brush uh, works is that you have a lot of different types of snow. And I think to make it realistic, you need different layers of different size of snow. And we made a lot, maybe a little too much, but all right. So this is a photo that I shot at five o'clock in the morning in Paris a few years ago uh, when there was like really no one in the street. It was not snowing anymore, but a company contacted me, says, can you add some snow so that we can make like a really nice Christmas card? And I believe you guys all want to make nice, cool Christmas cards and you have to download this free preset of snow because it's really cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer and I'm going to call this ultra fine snow. Okay. Then I'm going to press B for brush or go here. And then I'm going to go here is a different brush preset. Now, if you have double click, you now have a folder called snow brushes and the snow brushes folder has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine types of snow. Yeah. Nine types of snow. Uh, we put a lot of work into it. As, as I said, I worked with it with another designer. Um, now, if you don't see your brush um, folder like this, you can go always go to windows, and brushes and you're going to get the same folder. You can move this folder around. And then um, if you want to have a different display, you can make the size of the brush small or big uh, by just using this slider here. And so we are going to make them pretty big. I'm going to go to snow, snow brush. And there we are. So you see, you got ultra fine, fine, fine. You got different. Let me see if I can get the names uh, completely here, maybe by zooming in here. Yeah, fine, fine one, fine two. Uh, it's a little bit overkill, but if you want it to look really cool uh, and you want people to zoom in and make sure it's really good, uh, I would advise that you go on ultra fine. And I, so I have an ultra fine layer and you can see here the way this works. Um, I'm just going to close this for now. I, I can just click and you hardly see anything because when I say it's ultra fine, it is ultra fine and you basically brush it everywhere. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. You see, it does uh, a lot of, you see how many, one stroke is going to give you a lot of ultra fine, uh, basically snow brush, you know, so let me zoom out. And, um, but honestly, this one, you're not going to even see if you're totally zoomed out. It's so fine. I'm going to get the next brush. I can click on this icon there and click here on brushes. So I get that back. I'm going to go directly to ultra fine zero two so it's a little bit bigger otherwise this is this tutorial is going to take forever but you can use each ultra fine so i'm going to use this ultra fine snow zero two and uh and now so now this one is a little bit bigger but it's hardly let's zoom in so you can see uh it's it is a bit bigger but it, it gives dimension the fact that you have different snowflakes a different size and that's how it is in real life it's just going to make it realistic but this is we are still in the world of ultra fine here. You know, it's, uh, look at this photo. It's one of my favorite photo ever. I th actually, it was snowing a bit. You can see here, it was snowing a bit. Yeah, it was just that I, I had a slow shutter. So what happened with a slow shutter, basically, uh, you know, I lost some of the, uh, of the snow. Okay, so that's ultra fine snow. It's time to get to something a little bit bigger. We can hardly see the snow. So the next one is, I'm gonna click here, B for brush. I'm gonna click here, the brush window. That's a shortcut here. Medium, okay, that's medium, probably medium one. There's two medium. So we call it, call this snow medium one. Okay, so snow medium, or I can call it just a medium one. 
Okay, and and voila. So this one, you see, even if I'm zoomed out, we start off seeing a little bit, which is cool. And they're scattered pretty well all around in a very, very natural fashion because the brush itself is very scattered. It has already some uh, a little bit of um, of blur, a little bit of direction. It's so this one is is bigger. This one is bigger, and but it doesn't stop here. There is so much more, my friends. Uh, you're gonna love this pack, and it's all free. I'm giving it to you. It's my Christmas present to you. You can add snow on any photo using this awesome pack. Uh, I think it's one of the best snow pack out there. Um, just the work that was put into these brushes to make it realistic. Okay, so now I added a whole bunch of this medium snow. So okay, I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna call this medium two, the return of the medium, and then I'm gonna go here, people brush. I always go like this, brush, and now I'm gonna take medium, medium two. The medium two is a little bit bigger, and it's also it's different. Yeah, this one is way bigger. Look at that. I'm gonna close that. Now, this one is really hitting it hard. I mean, some pe if you're you know if you're in a hurry, you can just use medium two to start with. You know, you don't have to go through all the fine, fine, because if it's for the web, I don't think people will ever see the fine. Okay. Now, when it comes to medium two, uh, to add even more realistic things, I advise you to um, blur this to uh, give it a motion blur. So for this, you go to filter, blur, motion blur. And uh, here you can choose the direction of the snow. And so that's kind of good, like if the snow was falling like this. And here you can give the distance. Uh, I'm going to go very light. Look at this. It makes like really snow like this. It's kind of cool. And I actually like these settings. So, and you know what? I'm going to do on medium one too. So to go fast, you just select medium one. I can go to filter and motion blur. Use the same settings. And now look at that. All that snow has been, has been, uh, you know, is is kind of moving now. It's cool. So let's carry on. The next one is going to be. Let's see here. B for brush. Click on this. Click on the brush window. It's going to be snow large. Okay, snow large. This one is way bigger. So let's see here, snow large. Okay. All right, now this one, you're definitely gonna see. And I use a very white snow because my background photo ha is, has a lot of blue and I wanted the snow to stand out. And so that's why I kept it white here, uh, you know, as a foreign color, but you might wanna add a bit of blue on your photo to make it even more easy. Just a slightly bit of blue in your color. For this, all you have to do is double click here and just, you know, go to the blue and add a tiny bit of blue, like really little, just something like that, you know. Okay, so now that's large snow, as you can see here. And I want to use the same settings that I did for the motion blur because I, I, I like the direction. I like the fitting of it. So uh, I'm going to go to filter motion blur and it's going to use the last settings. Look at that. That snow is really hitting here. And we have... Uh, more large snow, sorry, new layer, I'm going to call it uh, larger snow. And the biggest we have that's bigger than that, I'll show you. So B for brush, click here, click here to get back to the brushes. Um, it's, what is this one? Oh yeah, this one is even bigger. Okay, let's see here. This one is just big. Oh yeah, very big. It's already blurry and everything. What it does is... Um, Basically, it makes so you can just hold on to the mouse and and it's going to scatter kind of naturally. This one is like big snow that's already uh, like um, basically very blurry. OK, and it just adds one more layer of snow. OK, this one is kind of cool. You can see here before, after, before, after. And and again, I think we have some more. Let's go back here. It actually doesn't take long, I mean, because I'm explaining. Oh, yeah. So now we got Snow Simple. Well, Snow Simple is just one. If you want to put one snow flake, it's just one. And it's a big one. Uh, so big snow flake. There's so much. I don't think you'll see much here. Let's see here. Big snow flake. Let's see if I want to put here one there. Oh, yeah, it's not so big. It's actually just one snow flake. Yeah, this one is, doesn't really matter. But you can make it bigger. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna make like 
some like a shiny snowflake like this one and they change of opacity you see as you brush to look more natural it's that's really into it so i added this thing i'm going to go to filter motion blur just to motion blur this big snow and on this one i might need to do a little more motion blur might need to go a little further here yeah i might need to go 104 instead of 70. and voila and then if you want to i'm going to add a new layer you you can have what we called um sharp s snowflakes uh, in this one because of the wind i've been blurring everything i don't think it's going to work but i'll show you anyway you go here brushes and it's the last one this one s simple snow sharp and uh make it bigger and you see it just one snow and every time you click it's a different size and different opacity and if you want to go faster you can if you're in the brush settings you can go to scattering instead of one you can just boost and put a whole bunch really fast and everyone is different has a different you know and that's like the sort of effect of uh you know of the of the snow coming sorry coming toward you or really being there you know uh, i think it doesn't work on this photo i'm going to try to motion blur them see if it helps but i think it's a little too heavy yeah so basically there you have it you know different layers of snow different size of snow so ultra fine let me zoom in so you can see on the section so ultra fine uh zero ultra fine two a little bit bigger medium one a little bit bigger medium two a little bit bigger snow large much bigger and larger snow much bigger big snowflake much bigger and sharp if you want to or not well but i kind of like that uh, that worked really well in this photo i really love this sort of a winter feel and voila don't forget to download this double click on it and just have fun it's a great exercise to learn photoshop and try to turn your winter photo into uh, something amazing something very uh, charming and voila mesdames et messieurs i will see you in another video all right guys i hope you like this uh, you know put some snow on your photos make some awesome christmas cards make some awesome new york cards and have fun with these brushes and i will see you in another video and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe have a merry christmas and i will see you for the new year